You can read it in the expressions of the prisoners, too. The late Dr. Sun Yat-sen, founder of the Chinese Republic, said, make China safe, build an air force. Well, China has not yet been able to obey that command fully enough to make herself secure, but the Chinese have made a beginning. Many have been training under Colonel Hu, the officer with the dagger, in India. Our picture shows people watching a demonstration of their flying skill. Formation flying, in Chinese characters, meaning September the 1st, the date of the founding of the Chinese Air Force 15 years ago. They can also do English calligraphy, which makes it much easier for us. Another story from India underlines the gallantry of a sepoy named Wellington Mazar. His aunt receives the Indian Distinguished Service Medal from Sir Andrew Clough, Governor of Assam. The sepoy had not only shown great gallantry in battle, in peacetime he'd volunteered to be infected with the disease called Kala Azar, a malaria-like fever. Watched by scientists, he caught the disease but recovered. Now he has given his life in battle. Nanda Singh's story is a happier one, for this winner of the VC has survived to receive it himself and to tell his people how he won it, which was by killing 37 Japs in Burma. For some time there was so much celebrating he couldn't get away to his village, but he had good news for it. He himself had been given a small pension, the Maharaja of Patiala's brothers brought this news, and his village had had one year's taxes remitted. The third story from India comes from the airstrip at Imphal, once the scene of such bitter fighting. Here, Lord Wavell inspected a big parade which included men of the Indian Air Force. When it had only been in existence for ten years, this Air Force was called upon to play its part in one of the toughest fighting areas of the whole war, and it has done very well indeed. The Viceroy also inspected men of his old division, which arrived in India two years ago. Lord Wavell told them what he and all of us think of their magnificent record. United Kingdom or Indian soldiers, it's one and the same story, a story of the utmost gallantry, often against great odds. The Maharaja of Manipur, whose state the Japs invaded, was present at the parade. And the Naga chiefs from the hills on the Assam-Burma frontier brought presents for the Viceroy. All sorts of things, swords, blankets and embroidered cloths. With solemn dignity, they made their presentations to Lord Wavell as Viceroy, but of course it was also their way of thanking every fighting man in Burma for driving back the Japs. The Nagas themselves helped the campaign in many ways. For that and for their gifts, the Viceroy in turn thanks them. Kwai Lin, 